testing, testing, is this a normal volume? Finally. This feels so weird, like I feel like a, a YouTuber. Hey guys, it's Ava, and welcome back to my channel. So today is another squishy makeover, and I don't want to spoil anything, so let's get started. ASMR. Okay, so I'm using a mic now. I feel professional. Back to the squishy, the thing we should be talking about right now. I wanted to make this... This is gonna make no sense, but I wanted to make it into Carly and Sam's feet from when they drew those smiley faces on their toes. I don't know where I got this idea. I tried to add white to my bread color paint and it kind of just didn't work out. It doesn't really look like Carly's foot at all because that's what I was going for. By the way, these squishies for this makeover were not picked by me except for the next one I'm going to be doing. They were picked by my little brother Jackson, so blame him for the weird foot choice. I've been talking a lot in this video and now I'm going to shut up and just let you watch this process with pretty music and it was a process. It took me a million coats to get this thing done. When I finally finished all of those coats, I started on the smiley faces on the toes, and this just felt weird. It just felt weird. Also, I know I made them look neater than they were on the show. I kind of just wanted them to look neat. Oh my god, and here's a clip of me painting the toenails. Chunky! This is the before and after. I was pointing to a weird black dot on his face. I think that was meant to be the chin or something. I think the after is kind of an improvement. Never really seen a pink foot before, but honestly, it's 2020. It wouldn't really surprise me at this point. Wait a minute. Remember when I said I picked the next squishy? Yeah, I lied. This one was also picked by Jackson. I picked the next squishy, and I mean that this time. I was just sanding this and cutting off the dots, and at this point, I really had no idea what I was gonna do for this, like many of the makeovers I start. Later on, I did wish I didn't cut the dots off, so why is my dog barking? There's literally no one there. Anyway, later on in the squishy makeoverness, I wished I hadn't cut the dots off so aggressively because I had to patch them. Yeah, I feel stupid. So I eventually decided that I want to do this as an Oreo themed cake because I like Oreos and Oreos on cake is cool. So what that meant is I had to paint the whole cake white and then do a black strip in the middle for like the filling. I'll let you watch me paint the rest of this and I'll come back for another voiceover when I feel like it. back because I feel like it. I decided to go with black for the filling because black and white is kind of the Oreo colors, but also I smudged the paint down there. We're gonna ignore that. Here's some footage of my paint bottle struggling. My paint bottles always get like jammed for no reason and paint just does not come out. And I'm pretty sure it's just dry paint, but it's really annoying because then I have to take a toothpick and jam it into the nozzle and it's not fun. Then what I did next was cut out a little half Oreo shape because I wanted to have it like sitting on the top of the cake because I thought it would look cute. Also, I painted it black even though the foam was already black. I just wanted it to look like everything else. Thank you. 
Then I didn't bother gluing it because I knew the glue would not stick to the fabric paint, so I kind of just like painted it on there. Yeah, that didn't really work, kind of smudged everywhere. Ah yes, this was the point where I started running out of paint and I had to cut the bottle open and paint with whatever I had left, so there's not that much coverage on the bottom. I apologize. I ran out of paint at two points on two different squishies for this video, and honestly, they just made them look a lot worse. And I'm not trying to be that YouTuber, but watch till the end if you want to see what the other one looked like because that squishy is at the end and honestly it's one of my least favorite. Also I wanted the Oreo to look like it was melting for some reason because I just thought that would look cute. I make everything look like it's melting. Also I added these little dots because I didn't know what else to put on the cake and they kind of resemble like Oreo crumbs maybe? Sure we'll go with that. So here's the before and after. This squishy is not squishy, I'll tell you that. I personally think this one was a big improvement from what it was because look at those colors, they're gross, um, no offense, and it's not squishy, but this one, this one is gorgeous. Oh, except for that thing in the background. This is definitely one of my new favorites except for um, the bottom, we don't speak of that. Ran out of white paint, kinda had to use white glitter. This is the one that I randomly picked out. I kind of just closed my eyes and put my hand in the bin and I ended up grabbing this one which I was sad at first because I like this one as it is and I didn't know if I was going to ruin it or not but you'll just see. So my original plan was to do this as another green dragon but not neon green. I got all prepared, was ready to paint and then no just didn't happen. After thinking about it way too much, I decided that I wanted the dragon to be purple. Also, don't mind these satisfying clips of me cleaning my paint palette. Teehee! <laughs> Okay, roll up my sleeves and it's time to get to work. This took literally a million coats. I could not think of a more see-through, transparent paint that takes a million coats to apply. At first it looks brown. It's not gonna look brown eventually, I promise. Let's skip to when it actually looks good. Yeah, not yet. Um, ew. You get to watch these next million coats with music! I'm just kidding, it's not actually a million coats, I'm just over dramatic. <laughs> Okay, now that that's over, I get to go in with gold sparkly paint for the stomach area. Also, film this clip out of frame. Sorry. Sorry. After doing the horns and stomach area gold, I just felt like there still wasn't enough detail so I painted the wings gold and then I did the face. Now the face. Let's not be mean, but let's not be liars here. Um, it's ugly, it needs work, it needs 
lots and lots and lots of work but i wanted to do a different face because i always do that face with like the huge eyes and then the cute little highlights which is fine and it's cute and everything but not every one of my squishies needs to look like that, you know? So this is me trying to thin out some of the details, but the eyebrows just stayed thick for some reason. Then I painted on some little ears, and this is the before and after. I kind of like the before just a little bit better, but also I really like the after, so I don't know which one to pick. I kind of like them equally. You know what? No. I picked this one. It has more details with like the glitter and everything, and it's kind of just a bigger improvement, I'd say. Also, it's still very, very, very slow rising. If you're still here, hi, you've made it to the final squishy. Congratulations. Also, if you're still here, comment the word on the screen for a shout out. I don't know what it is at the moment. The first person to comment this word will be next video shout out on Wednesday, I think. I don't know when I'm posting this, but I'll give you a shout out on Wednesday. Now back to the bear squishy. It kind of had a weird bow tie, so I just cut it off and like painted it yellow, I guess. And then I just decided that I want to paint it blue and I'm going to paint the whole thing blue and it's all going to be nice and fun and I'm going to paint the entire thing blue. Well, that actually was not the case at all. Um, just watch this clip of me painting it. It's kind of satisfying and then I will tell you what I mean. Okay, this is just me painting on the details. I wanted to do them in dark blue because I thought it would look cool and match the rest of the details that were supposed to be on the squishy, but I ran out of light blue paint and just, it didn't go that way. This is also me painting on the face, kind of cute. But as you'll see in a few seconds, I'm just gonna stall for a sec. Just hurry up, paint the rest of the face. We're all bored, come on, Ava, we're bored. Come on, okay, I'm stalling, yay. Okay, so I had to paint the rest of it pink. So I decided that I would paint a onesie on the bear and it would look cute. Did it end up looking cute? I don't know, that's your opinion, but like, eh. <laughs> Also, while I was painting, I somehow smudged the paint and didn't realize. I literally went back in my footage and could not find out how I did that. So this is me painting on the onesie, and let me just tell you, this was a process and it was not a fun one. Then after all that dried, I went in with the darker version of the color I used for the most of the onesie, I guess, and then I made little accents, and I also went over the neon pink thing again. Finally, we are here, the before and after. I could not wait to be done with this. Oh, there's a green line. I could not wait to be done with this squishy because I feel like the first version was so much cuter, and I hate the second version. Honestly, I just, I don't really like it. It's not as cute as I wanted it to be. Also, I just couldn't clean up some of the details because I ran out of paint and there wasn't enough to cover it. But it is really squishy though. I'll give it that. Well, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I worked very hard on these for days and not all of them are perfect, but they're mine. It's whatever. They're not going to be perfect. Well, if you liked this video, please hit that like button so I can do more squishy makeovers. Hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you know whenever I post a new video. 
It's Wednesday and Friday. I just don't know time, so tap the bell. Also, make sure you're following me on everything else. It will be linked in the description, especially Instagram, because I'm going to have you guys vote for the next squishies for the next makeover. All right, I love you guys. Bye.